Hey guys, happy happy Tuesday. It's actually a Tuesday video. Um, why, why haven't I been making these videos as much? I have found that making two videos a week, which has been the goal for quite a while, meant that I was working seven days a week. And I wasn't working like seven days a week, 12 hours a day, but I was working seven days a week, six to 10 hours a day. And I know for some people that's totally fine, totally fine. But for me, I just can't hack it. I can't hack working seven days a week. My mental health takes a turn for the worse, and I just don't, I don't do well. So I had to prioritize. Do I make the Tuesday videos about the gallery or do I make the Friday videos about the beginners? And because I work with Marine Depot, I gotta focus on those Friday videos. So if there's weeks that I'm just doing one video, it's going to be that Friday video. But those Friday videos, while I think they're super good for beginners, they are so boring for me to make. I mean, I, just, just, I mean like, uh, just imagine making 50 videos about how to build a saltwater aquarium. It, it's just, it's not enjoyable for a hobbyist like myself to do. Because what do I wanna do? I wanna build the seahorse macroalgae tank. I wanna make the reef tank better. I wanna make some tweaks to my 40 gallon breeder quarantine tank. I wanna get some more in them. I mean, there's just so many things that I wanna do. And the other thing is, is, is when I have all these projects I'm doing, I, I can't do them because, because I don't wanna build these projects and not share it with you. So. So that means if I'm not making Tuesday videos and I'm only making Friday videos, I'm not working on these tanks at all. And that has to change. So there's gonna have to be some weeks where I'm gonna have to be Matthew, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, bite the bullet and and make some videos. And this is one of those weeks because the projects are piling up. This tank needs some serious work in the sump. I just need to clean it up, make it look better, it's getting too hot. Luckily, the harem tank's doing okay. Well, guess what? The 24-gallon mixed reef tank, I now have a brand new 45-gallon tank right down here that I got yesterday. And so this needs to either disappear or turn into a quarantine tank. And then we have the seahorse macroalgae tank. It's been ready for a couple weeks, but I haven't ordered anything yet. So I'm talking to Tyler Inland Empire tomorrow to get that first shipment of macroalgae. So there's just so many projects. And let's see how many we can get done today. This is the first thing I need to do. Okay, here's the tank I got. I got the JBJ. This was this is the one that was on back order forever. It's the JBJ R45, I think it is. And this is the R65, so 65 gallon, 45 gallon. This thing was on back order for like two months. It was crazy how long it took. But this is an upgrade for the 24 gallon fluval tank right here. This, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm either gonna break it down and give it away, or my wife thinks it'd probably be a good idea to just use this as a future quarantine tank over here. So maybe I'll do that. That's actually a pretty good idea. But I made the mistake. Do you remember what the mistake I made on this one? I tried to do it myself and I chipped this tank. But this one's holding water, so that's good. This time I brought everything inside and I want to get this set up because the problem is my cat right now is jumping on there and jumping up there and almost fell off this morning. So that's not great. So I'm gonna try to get as much as this done as I can. I'll probably have to wait till my wife gets home before I lift this onto here, but I don't know what to do. So I think I'm gonna get them up here, move it over here and just kind of visualize because this tank is definitely 100% going here, but like how do I move stuff over? Do I move this whole tank full over here and just leave it set up on the wall for a while or do I transfer stuff quicker? I don't know, we'll figure that out later, but I at least wanna get these boxes rid of. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse here so you can see what the tank looks like. Well, that's unfortunately as much as I can do until the wife comes home. I can't lift this. I was like, I'm gonna try, but my back is killing me anyways. And remember, I should learn my lesson and not break tanks. So we're gonna leave this here. I love one thing especially about these JBJ stands. They come completely put together. Completely put together. I don't have to do anything, which is so nice. They send them all freight and they come put together. I mean, they're, they're, they're well made. They have this cool little shelf. Let's see if we can install it. I mean, you literally, the only thing you have to do is put that little shelf in and then tear the plastic off. And the only annoying thing about the plastic is they leave the plastic on when they put it together. So sometimes you get these little remnants here, which you have to pick out. But other than that, it's a really well-made stand. I like how it closes. Look at that. It's like a, one of those silent closing, slow. Really well put together, really easy. You definitely pay a little bit of a premium for that, but I don't know, it's a great system. 
we'll put we'll get this up and going when the wife gets home and figure it out but for now let's move on to project two what should be project two what should be project two no no okay i know project two let's do the electrical work since i'm actually going to be getting macro algae in here time to organize this because i need to get everything up and running which everything works but it's just a jumble of wires right now. So let's organize that, do a little wire management and see what it looks like. I'll take some before and after pics so that you guys can revel in either how well I did or how poorly I did. <laughs> no, I decided to go to Lowe's because I never seem to have the right screw sizes when I'm installing the controllers and stuff. I'm always just like scrounging and finding stuff. So I think I'll just buy a few different boxes and different sizes of these self-drilling ones, just so I have them for the future. I mean, guys, check this out. I mean, I feel like an idiot. Like how many years I've been doing this? And I didn't know they sold these tops that you can totally open. I've been drilling holes like some kind of Stone Age caveman when I could have just gotten for two dollars or two fifty a nice a nice lid. Uh, oh well, I'm gonna use some of these and maybe exchange out some old ones too because this is nice. Okay, I think my wife just got home and she has no idea that before her lunch I'm gonna abscond with her to help me lift this. So hold on, I'll be right back. You hear my dogs? She's she's gotta be home. Oh, wait. Here she is. It's a freaking pallet. Oh, hey, everybody's home. Okay, front goes over here. Wait, no, this. Over right there. We did it. High five, everybody. Okay. Okay, it's in. All right, look at the size difference. Let me see if I can show you. The height difference is is quite stark. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Okay, we got to cut for a second and cut. Okay, take two. The dogs are quiet now. It definitely looks bigger, but it's not as big as I thought it would look. But, because this is what? This one's 24 gallons total. And this one just has such a large rear filtration chamber. So there's a lot of good filtration power. The width is exactly the same. So these two have exactly two feet, but it's higher and it's deeper by quite a bit. The real trick's gonna be, what do I do? How do I, how do I swap these out? Because almost everything in here is gonna disappear. I'm gonna keep the corals, but the rock is gone. I'm gonna keep the corals over here, but like this is an encrusting one. So I might try to like break it apart and frag it and put it on some other pieces. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but for now, I think I'm just gonna have to move it, maybe move it to the corner, deal with this another day because I haven't finished yet with this project. Actually, I haven't even started with this project. So let's go work on this. Oh, is not the best. Better. special but the wires are gone no wires down here I was able to put in the five gallon bucket with this cool new top which I can't believe I just discovered it's so awesome for the UV sterilizer I just tucked the wires up here and I used all those velcro straps just to velcro the line along the top here and then over here I made a mistake and I didn't put this in the right spot but I'm not gonna redo it it works just fine we only have two controllers the reef octopus here and the max spec gyro controller there I went ahead and labeled everything. This is one of those fancy Wi-Fi strips that I like. So there's one, two, three, four, five Wi-Fi outlets on top and five non-Wi-Fi outlets just always on. And I went ahead and programmed those onto my phone, set up the chiller running, gonna set it 74, no, 73, which means it'll go 73 to 74 degrees. 
and everything is ready to go. I'm talking with Tyler Inland Reef tomorrow so that we can get the first shipment of macro soon. Well, believe it or not, it's day two. I got this organized all in day one, so that was nice. But day two, I got a couple more things I need to do. Primarily is my frag rack. While it's not full, it's starting to get a bit full for me. And a lot of these Zoas are overgrowing their frag plugs. And not only that, but they are also growing onto the frag rack. So I need to frag some of these. And then I need to frag, can I remember the name of this? People keep telling me, but it's getting big. Some of these I just need to frag, right? And then after I do that, clean this up, what I wanna do is come over here, not the best, sorry everybody, so much glare here, but I want to go ahead and add a few corals into here. We going, we going? I, I feel like my biggest problem here is, is I'm just not, not an artist. You know, when it comes to aquascaping, I, I, I've never really been very good at it, and I've really never tried very hard. So this is really my first attempt at doing that. So I'm just gonna try to choose a couple simple ones that maybe give some color. I'm looking right now, and I have some green in there. I have a zoa colony. I have some coralline colored blastos and a pink tip frog spawn. So I think I need some, some other colors, like some sort of red or I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna try to choose some easy ones. I don't wanna add too many this time around. So maybe let's add whatever this is, this random, it'll focus on me right there. This is bright orange under the blue. So we'll, we'll do that one near the top, I'm assuming. And then my buddy gave me my first plating, plating Monty. Can't see it's green, but it's green. I think what I'll try to do is, uh, he said just, just glue this whole thing like to the back. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna glue it to the back. Why I keep, I, I, don't, I don't know why I can't remember the name of this. But you know this one right here, this one. I'll move that over. You probably won't be able to see any of the colors though. This one has like reds and put that on it. That's what, that's one, two, three, four. Just look over my shoulder here. I just wanna uh, frag. Yeah, cut off the part of the plugs, that kind of stuff. So I just wanna cut the base off, I think. Okay, that's good, that's one. Maybe trim this up along the edges. These should break easily. These are like the the, the oregonite ones. Yeah, there we go, that's good. I don't need to cut a lot off because it'll, it'll grow over the edges. I just don't wanna have to stare at this for too long. Of course, I'm gonna make a huge mess in the process, but whatever. And then I think whatever this SPS is, this cool orange one, just take this bottom part off. And I'll trim, let me, let me trim around the edges too. I think that'll be good. Although this one, this isn't an oregonite one, so I don't think. Or I'll just do that and completely break. Oh, well, we'll just super glue that on. Okay. Because it has these, 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 these two dead polyps on it. But I couldn't get it off. Maybe if I try again. See if I can agitate him back in so he doesn't. Oh, come on now. Ah! Part of it off. It's like half. There. Got it. Okay. So now it's smaller. See, a lot smaller. So I don't know. I, I'm not really sure where to put it. Like, like part way up, I think, is where it should go. Like, like I kind of want to do this with what are my, which pieces am I most interested in and in giving them pride of place. Maybe like that. There, that's a good spot right there. And down here. Okay. Okay, there's one. That's one. Now, this is a good plating one, right? Look at those colors. Can you even see the colors? All right, so this one might be good. I do want to see it. Let's try it there. Come on, Blue. That should be an okay spot. Oh, yeah, I really like this one. This one is so pretty. It's like one of the only beautiful, look at that, the reds. It's been really finicky though, whatever whatever one this one's called, because it, it, it look, see, can you see over here how it's kind of growing? But then you look on this side and it died off. So I don't understand, but it's growing back over that now. Okay, Matthew James, but I want to see this one. I want to see the colors. We have, so I think I have to put it over here. The shelf, the Monty, Monty shelf. I'm thinking of just putting it like here, see this? I know it's eventually gonna cast shadows, but not for a while. Like how far, like I just, I've never had one of these before, so I don't like fully understand how to do this. Okay, we're just gonna try it. I don't, I don't know. This could be a huge embarrassing failure of life. Wait, we learned though, there's no way this is gonna hold, right? When as soon as I let go, it's gonna drop, right? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. How am I supposed to get that to hold? Okay, 29, 30, 30 seconds enough? Nope, close to enough, but not enough. Okay, let's try it again, a little more. Come on, baby. 30, this is thrilling, right? This is like thrilling YouTube. Please God hold. No, you're not holding, are you? I'm just gonna leave it. Maybe it'll hold. And then lastly, 
is whatever the heck this little tiny SPS frag is. That's just got to go on the top, right? I mean, let's leave this here. I'm going to turn the flow on here in a few minutes, and then I'll, I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay, let's try to get a couple views of the new corals. All right, here we go. Coral number one. Hopefully, will be a good spot. Full and crust. Coral number two edition. Some sort of SPS coral. Nice and red, though, which is cool. Coral number three edition. The one, the exact same one from the one I just fragged. I think that'll be a fine spot for it. Coral number four edition. Are we on four? My first ever shelf Montipora. It actually stayed, which is amazing. And that was all of them for this tank. So this tank should start to actually start popping with some color, I'm hoping. Definitely some higher nitrates in here right now. I've noticed just because I can tell there's some hair algae growing. So I'll just be a little bit more consistent with my water changes and stuff. But I hope, all right, I got, I got all the frags in here. It's mainly zoas and then one of the corals that I don't know. And then it's just the frag plugs. This is just gonna be rinsing water. And then since I am gonna be fragging, like cutting one of the corals, I'm gonna add some lugals. Iodine. I have no idea how much I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a lot because I'm gonna be creating like fresh cuts. So I figure I should do that. I'm also gonna add some Brightwell coral aminos. Help it heal, I'm hoping. My friend recommended doing this, so. I am working with Zoas, and I'm sure there's some tallies in here, so I'm gonna wear eyewear. I'll just use my regular mask. Isn't it funny that we have regular masks now? It's just my everyday mask. I never used to wear masks. Now I have an everyday mask. This is long overdue. I needed to do this a long time ago. I do need to get a frag tank. I actually got a bid for a frag tank from a company I've used before, but they're located in Florida, and their shipping cost was like four to 500 minimum for. A a frag tank. And I'm like, that's no, I'll find someone local. So if you guys know anybody local, so the only way thing I can think of is to just break into it. It's so big. I'm literally just going to break into it. So we'll see how this goes. Ready? Oh, that was awesome. Look at that. That actually worked out so much better than I thought. Okay. We're going to do it again. Perfect. Look at that. Boom. Put those in there. Give them a little rinse. And this one. Boom. If you are local and you want one of those frags, just let me know. I'll be happy to give you them. One, two, three, four. Boom, big boy. Put you in the, in the good mix. Hopefully these all heal well. All right, now I have a whole bunch of these little guys. Like, look at this, look at this. Okay, so I just need to put this on a bigger frag bowl. Look at this one, see, look at this, see this? Look at, they're all just growing together. See that? They're all just totally Look at that. It's just growing together. They're just hanging on to each other. So this is why I'm wearing gloves and a mask because I am fragging Zoas or Pallies. I don't want to die today. Seriously, guys, if you want some Pallies or some Zoas, I can't tell you what kind they are. Don't ask, but I have some and I would be willing to give you some. Okay, I'm going to be buying more of these. I love these, by the way. These are my favorites, the Aragonite Ocean Wonders, because when you're fragging them, this, is, this one here is like wood fired. And that's hard to get off. But these are just oregonite and they'll break so easy. So when you're fragging them, it's awesome sauce. Like, what do I do here? Like, it's just, it, it's like, I'm just gonna grow on the edge. You know, it's super annoying when it does that. Well, oh, wood fired, see? Fired. Oh, yeah. You need to wear goggles just to get those fired pieces off or else you will hurt yourself. You guys know an easy way to like tell the difference between pallies and zoas? Like, I was like, oh, these are really big ones. Oh, mother. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay, watch your eyes, everybody. Make sure you're wearing goggles. Oh, man, that shot across the room. Oh, that one went far. Fired. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it, everybody. And they're all safe and sound, I think. We'll see if they all pull through. All four of these new frags here. If you guys want some and you live in Coachella Valley, shoot me an email and I would be happy to give a few of these away. And then I have so many just little Zoa frags that I just, I, I just don't need. So if you just want some random Zoa frags, I'm assuming that none of these <laughs> are worth much at all. So if you need some to start a Zoa Island, go ahead and let me know.